Hello beautiful souls and dreamers. Welcome back to the channel with another interesting video on the law of attraction. And there is another good news for the money enthusiast in this video. We are going to discuss the most amazing and mind-blowing manifesting techniques to attract money in our life. So, pace yourself and get ready to explore the powerful techniques from the fascinating world of Neville Goddard to attract large sums of money into our life. Let's hit that like and subscribe button so that you won't miss any upcoming videos and get going. Hello, money magnet enthusiast. Before we begin to learn and understand the techniques to attract money and prosperity to our life, let's know who Neville Goddard is. Neville Goddard is a renowned spiritual teacher who has introduced amazing and mind-blowing techniques and an understanding of the law of attraction. He also shares ways in which one can use the law of attraction to attract prosperity. How one can achieve every desire and dream through the powerful technique of the law of attraction. Neville Goddard briefly talks about our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind is responsible for our reality. We either knowingly or unknowingly create our reality. Our subconscious mind is actively working. It never goes to sleep. It works even when we are asleep, when we are doing other day-to-day -day activities. We do not need a separate time or place where we separately work our subconscious mind. The good and amazing thing about the subconscious mind is we can train it. We can impress anything we want on it subconsciously. Understanding the functioning of the subconscious mind is very important. And to use our subconscious actively in the most powerful way to achieve prosperity and wealth is another skill anyone can obtain through continuous practice and faith. We can impress any truth to our subconscious. It does not need to be true. We just have to believe and impress again and again. And our subconscious will take that affirm words as fact and believes that it is true. It might take time to understand at the beginning. But when you understand the basic concept of it, it becomes way easier and more believable. The concept proposed by Neville Goddam about our subconscious and the company concept of states. In this concept, he explains that the thoughts we think or get are directly connected to our subconscious mind. The thoughts are directly connected to our lives. The basic principle of manifestation is that our mind aligns with the things that we think of, what we feel, how we feel about certain things. And there is this habit of the subconscious of sitting only in a familiar place. If we had a habit of thinking negative, we are scared to do something new in our lives. We get scared. That is because the place and the person we try to become is a new feelings for our subconscious. And the subconscious mind tries to avoid the feeling as much as it can. So, reprogramming our subconscious in the first place should be mandatory. And how do we do that? Well, it is not that difficult and tedious. It just needs practice and faith. Whenever we try to think about a certain new thing our subconscious will put up its guard and forces us not to think about it, not to believe those things, but do not be sacred as the subconscious mind can be trained. It can be reprogrammed. Whenever we have doubts and lose faith and belief always get into consciousness and tell our mind that it is not a threat. Try to convince yourself of the thoughts you are having. For example, you imagine yourself as a young successful person. You want to be successful. You want money. And when you visualize yourself as a successful person, since it is new to the subconscious mind, it creates this other scenario trying to tell you that it is bad for you, or you cannot do it. All these negative thoughts and feeling moves back into your mind. So, our job is to find when these negative thoughts arrive and replace them with positivity and abundance. Replace every doubt with faith. Replace it with belief. And soon enough your subconscious will accept those positive affirmations those faith, those emotions to be true. You just need to be patient and reprogram your subconscious first. Train your brain to think about the things that you want. The crucial and most important concept of manifestation is that you have to feel the desire as if it is already manifested. Let's say 
You want money. You want prosperity. Abundance. So feel that you already have money. You have abundance. You prosper. Feel as if the things you have always wanted are there. Your manifestation has been manifested. This might sound weird and confusing, but this is what the law of attraction tells us. You attract what you already have. So, in your subconscious mind, if you think you have money, you have abundance, you will attract money. You will attract abundance. Always feel that the things you want are there. You are the person you have always to become. Live in the state where our desires are fulfilled. Yes, you heard it right. Everything we are and everything we want is based on our thoughts. Our human brain is capable of everything. To manifest our desire to be fulfilled. To manifest success. To manifest money or the person we want in our life. First, we must live in the state. Living in the states means living as if the things you have always wanted are there. You have money. Feel the texture of money. Feel you use being stuffed by money. Take a deep breath and feel the happiness you would feel when you get money. When you meet that person. Feel as if the life you have always wanted is there and right now you are living it. You will attract what you feel and think of. So never let your negative emotions make you feel less about who you are and what you can become. I am repeating this again and again. You will attract what you feel. If you feel like you are successful, you are successful. There are no if or buts. There is no how, when and where. Remove every doubt. Remove every negative emotion and replace it with good thoughts. Believe in the universe. Believe in the energy. Have faith in the frequency and vibrations. So manifest any things you want in your life to live the life you have desired as reality. You have the life you have wanted. You are successful. You have money. You are with the love of your life. It is you who control your own life. No one. I repeat, no one out there is controlling your life. Not even God. God is there to fulfill your every wish and every desire. So believe in him. You have to ask for it and sit back and watch it become real. Live the reality you want. That's it. You think of things you want. You believe in them. You believe that universe will bring it to you. You just have to stop self-doubt. Remove that negative and limiting beliefs. Believe that your desires are already a reality. And you are already living the life you wanted. The life you desired. The money you always wanted is there. As Navil Godham said, look as though saw, listen as though you heard. Through this quote, he tries to convey that our imagination and visualization power shapes our reality. Our thoughts, our assumptions are everything we believe. Everything we feel about our lives, about ourselves, about life is true. And when we believe in those thoughts, those emotions we have a direct connection to the universe, and that right there my friend shapes our reality, our experiences. So, only focus on the positive aspects of life. Always have faith. Believe that the desires are already a reality. Use the power of imagination, the power of visualization and affirmation. Use these magical and mind-blowing powers to unveil reality and live the life you have always dreamed of. The power is within you. The power to create, shape your reality, live your desired life, achieve success to find abundance. It's all within you. So start living for the end. Start living the life you desired as reality.